Online learning versus face-to-face -face learning. Uh, I, I guess the, the starting point is to, to clarify it shouldn't be online or face-to-face -face or online versus face-to-face. -face. Uh, it, it's more online and face-to-face. -face. I think they're both incredibly important methods for, for delivering learning uh, and each has their own benefit. Um, but let, let's talk a bit more about that. The idea, I mean, to, to take a big step back and the reason we have organisations, really the primary reason, is to leverage people. And these days, with, with technology as it is, uh, there's an enormous amount of great technology that we can leverage for our learning. But when you start looking at leverage, you've always got to consider balance and, and trade-offs. And, uh, and, and so this is where it gets interesting from a learning proposition. The idea that uh, technology is, is great, and it's got all these benefits that, that we know of. Uh, it's, um, it's increasingly cost-effective. Um, we can make it all bells and whistles and, and make it bright and, and colourful and engaging. Uh, and there's lots of great scale benefits. Um, however, there's a whole lot that we miss out on. And if we look at the classroom setting, if we look at face-to-face -face learning, some of the really key things that we, that we start missing out on are the, the emotional contact points, the, the people connections and the, those relationships, the, the, the micro gestures, in particular the non-verbals that, uh, that we may not always get uh, through a virtual classroom setting. Um, the emotional flow that we're able to manage and monitor in a, in a classroom or a live setting is something that we miss out on and therefore we need to be really conscious of how we manage that in a virtual classroom or in a virtual setting. So what does that look like? Uh, well, one of the key things I, I think is always to, to try to engage our learners as much as possible, to try to create as, as rich and interactive a, a learning experience as possible. So, for example, if you've got video, um, use it. If you've got the bandwidth, use it. I know that it's it's sometimes awkward. Um, I, I certainly feel that sometimes it's uh, it, it it's uh, it, it's a, a it's an awkward situation to to share webcam. Um, however, there are so many great benefits of that that face to face exchange. That, that's one thing. A second point is making sure that our learners are in the virtual classroom, in that workspace, just like a real classroom um, or, a, or a workshop where we, we might have things like icebreakers or warm-ups, but just activities, quick techniques to get people into the space, asking them a quick question, asking them to respond in their chat function, making sure that they're there in the space. Another great thing that, um, that I use uh, online learning for is for pre-work and post-work. Uh, acknowledging that learning has to be a process, it's not just an event. And so the more we can leverage our online resources to give people a good head start for the session, the whole flipped classroom, um, as well as following it up, uh, the more that we can do that and extract that benefit from the learning process, the better. Uh, there's, uh, there's, there's so many ways that you can leverage the online technology that we have these days uh, and uh, we need to use all the resources that we have at our disposal to make sure we've got a great impact for our living.